Hello guys and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be reviewing the book The Immortal Rules by Judy Kagawa. I actually received a new copy of this for review via NetGalley but then I found a physical copy of this at my local library and I picked it up because I really really wanted to read a physical copy of it. And this book is so so good, it's really really great and I felt like it was quite a mature take on vampires even though considering it's still a YA book there was nothing cheesy about it whatsoever and considering its length as well I felt like I flew through it pretty well and I was just drawn into this book the world that this book actually contains like it's just so so great I could picture everything that was going on in this book and Alison the main character she tells the story really really well I loved reading about her and I loved seeing how she would cope with certain things and I just wanted to go on an adventure with Alison and all the other characters in the story. They were written so so well and I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed this book. So I'm just going to go on to what the actual story is about. So yes, it's a vampire based novel, it's a dystopian novel in a world where vampires and rabbits all lurk and humans are still alive but they pretty much got to survive on their own without the vampires. If you get caught during the night then unfortunately you either turn into one or you will be killed. And Alison and her friends end up being attacked one night and then this vampire called Kanan, he gives them the choice whether he's going to put her to rest basically or if she wants to stay alive then he will turn her into a vampire and she's sort of given that decision and she feels like she actually wants to live even though she has to be a vampire so there she is she's turned into a vampire and then Kanan teaches her the ways of being a vampire but then something has to draw him away from her and she is then on her own so she goes and ventures on her own and this is where she finds other human beings and this is where Alison has to pretend to be a human amongst them even though the hunger for their blood is so so strong she's just learning to obviously keep that inside and then it something happens where she is found out to be a vampire and then she's pretty much on her own again so there's all this betrayal thing going on and stuff like that. There's also this plan about this place called Eden and this is where all the humans want to go because they've heard it exists and they, well they want to believe it exists and this is what they are trying to find and Alison actually wants to believe in that as well. She wants to like how there's hope for the humans and so that's why she joins on this adventure with them, she wants to go find it with them and then she actually creates a liking towards the human being Zeke and I felt myself liking Zeke as well, Zeke's a fantastic character, I really loved hearing about him. This book actually has so many deaths in it, I cannot believe how many people get killed in this book, like it is quite sad, it's quite a vicious world in this but you know when you think a world with vampires and rabbits then like you know it's pretty much survival of the fittest pretty much so you're going to expect there's to be some deaths but some of them are really really sad as well so I'm just going to tell you to expect some sort of sad deaths in this. The writing style is absolutely easy to understand it's very very descriptive. The storyline is very interesting it's nice and simple. The cover of the book is quite deadly and serious you can see vampire face with a red eye with blood dripping and it kind of draws you in how it's just looking at you and I love how the writing is sort of metallic as well. So the structure is written in first person because Alison tells the story and the chapters are a nice decent length as well. The beginning of this book had an absolutely great start to it. You are introduced to the world and to the main character, Alison. The ending ends in a bit of a cliffhanger and since reading the ending, I really, really want to continue in the next book. That is how much of an effect the ending had on me. So overall, this book was amazing. I could not fault it whatsoever. I thoroughly enjoyed every moment of it and I definitely, definitely recommend it for you, especially if you're into vampire, paranormal, or those sort of things like vampire diaries, 
Vampire Academy, Morgan Rule Vampires, you know those sort of vampire books. I definitely recommend this book. It's absolutely fantastic. It is amazing. And I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars. It is definitely one of my new favourites of this year. So I hope you have enjoyed this review for The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa. Let me know in the comment box below if you have read this book and your thoughts on it or let me know if you're interested in it or let me know any other questions about the book and I will answer them for you. I hope you are having a fantastic day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!